Some parts of this video have been updated to demonstrate the new procedures for enrolling as a service center. Welcome to the Creating Your Service Center account and Managing Your Information in the Electronic Data Interchange or EDI portal video. Let's get started. This video includes seven sections of information that walk you through the steps to enroll as a service center so you can exchange transactions with Virginia Medicaid and then how to manage your service center details in the EDI portal. This section shows how to enroll a new service center, enter primary contact information, and select transaction types. If you are an existing service center, you do not need to re-register or sign up as a new service center. To enroll as a service center, navigate to the MES provider site at https colon slash slash vamedicaid.bmas.virginia.gov. Then select the EDI link at the top of the page. The EDI support page displays. Scroll down and click the email link to send your request to the EDI team. The EDI team will respond back to you with additional questions to complete the process. Once the registration process is complete, you'll be ready to log into MES and the EDI portal. After your enrollment is approved, you will receive two emails. One email will contain a temporary password. The other email will contain your username and a link to MES. To access the EDI portal, Log into MES with your username and password. If this is the first time you are logging into MES, you will be prompted to change your temporary password. The DMAS MES license agreement displays. Read the information. If you agree to the terms, select the radio button to acknowledge your agreement and then select the submit button. The verify your identity page appears. Select the radio button to indicate which method, email, or text you want to use to confirm your identity and select the request code button. The authentication code you will receive via mail or text has two parts. The first part, the numbers prior to the dash, are pre-populated on the verification page of MES. The second, the numbers after the dash, are what you will enter in the verification box. After you enter this part of the code, select the Submit Code button to log into the system. If you do not receive a code within a few minutes, select the Resend button to have another code sent. Once you have successfully logged into the system, the MES landing page displays. This page shows different tiles and links based upon your user role. To access the EDI portal, select the EDI link in the Electronic Data Interchange tile. Once you have logged into the EDI portal, select the Click Here to Continue for Service Center link. If you have not previously signed an agreement for this service center, when you log into the EDI portal, a page will display requiring your signature before you can continue. To view and sign the agreement, select the Sign Agreement Here link on the agreement page. You are directed to DocuSign to review and sign the trading partner agreement. Place a check mark in the box, I agree, to use electronic records and signatures and select the Continue button. When the trading partner agreement for Service Center ID page displays, confirm the batch section is accurate. Then sign the agreement by entering information in the title field and selecting the Finish button. This will return you to the EDI portal homepage where you will see a message stating that the agreement is pending with DMAS. After your agreement is approved, you can use the EDI portal to make service center updates, such as address details, at any time. Once you have logged into the EDI portal, select the Click Here to Continue for Service Center link. To update the Service Center address, select the drop-down arrow next to your name and choose the My Account option. When the Trading Partner Profile page displays, select the Edit button. This will display the specified Service Center's information. 
edit the address details as needed and select the Save button. The system displays a confirmation that the address details have been successfully updated. You can make other updates using the EDI portal, such as choosing which batch transaction types are authorized for the service center. Once you've logged in to the EDI portal, select the Click Here to Continue for Service Center link. To update the Service Center's authorized transactions, select the drop-down arrow next to your name and choose the My Account option. When the Trading Partner Profile page displays, select the Edit button. This will display the specified Service Center's information. Edit the authorized batch transaction types by checking or unchecking the checkboxes in the Authorized Batch Transactions section. Then select the Save button. When the Trading Partner Agreement for Service Center ID page displays, confirm the batch section is accurate. Then sign the agreement by entering information in the title field and selecting the Finish button. This will return you to the Trading Partner Profile page with a message stating that the file authorization details have been successfully updated. Notice the Authorized Batch Transaction section shows the status of the selected options as pending until a DMAS admin approves it. Another function of the EDI portal is the ability for the primary user to update their details or the details of any secondary users that belong to the same service center. Once you've logged in to the EDI portal, select the Click Here to Continue for Service Center link. To update user details, select the drop-down arrow next to your name and choose the My Account option. When the Trading Partner Profile page displays, select the user's name or icon. The user's information displays. The job title and phone number fields can be updated. Edit the primary user as needed and then select the Save button. The system displays a confirmation that the user details have been successfully updated. The final type of update you can make in the EDI portal is to change your MES password. From the EDI portal, select the drop-down arrow next to your email address and choose the Change Password option. When the Change Password page displays, enter your current password. Next, enter your new password ensuring it meets the guidelines listed on the page. Then re-enter the new password and confirm it matches before selecting the Change Password button. When the system displays a confirmation that the password has been successfully changed, select the Home button to return to the MES portal landing page. If you still have questions, visit the EDI support site at https colon slash slash vamedicaid.dmas.virginia.gov slash edi to view the EDI Frequently Asked Questions and User Manual. We hope this information has been helpful. Thank you for learning how to create and manage your service center information.